I'm the Toilet Cobra, this is the Creepy Touch, and we're here with Damon Abraham from Fucked Up, aka Pink Eyes, aka Father Abraham. Well, you're probably the most famous this guy I've interviewed yet. Really? Yeah. I really, that's really sad. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. And uh, you just got back from Serbia, you were saying. Last night. And you played with corn. Played with corn. That's a dream come true, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. Uh, what happened was, like, we played MTV once, and she got trashed. Were, I guess we did two thousand dollars in damage by the time it was all said and done. And they were like, "We really want you to come back." They were like, "Well, why don't we get you to play a bathroom?" And we're like, "Okay." So then we went down there and we thought of that movie. I don't know if you ever seen Class of 1984. No. Michael J. Fox's first movie, but it's about punks that take over a high school. And there's a, the punks, they're like clubhouse in the high school is the bathroom. So we had this vision of turning the bathroom at MTV into that. Like this. Like this. Like this. Stop it. Stop it. So we brought in a motorcycle. <laughs> and we brought spray paint in and we we're kind of like spray painting the whole day. Because they're like, don't worry, trash the place. We're going to get a new bathroom anyway one day. So we're like, okay. And so when the show started, I just started knocking out the ceiling titles with the mic stand. And they put up a barricade to keep all the kids who were there to see the show out from the bathroom. Uh -huh. But they didn't have anyone holding the barricade up, so the kids just crashed the barricade down, crushing a cameraman in the process. To death? No, no, no. You just you missed two days of work. Oh, okay. Yeah, to death. We'll say to death. <laughs> uh, and then just stuff started getting smashed and broken. The bike got knocked over that we had. We had a motorcycle in there. And gasoline started spilling all over the floor. Wait, why was there gasoline in the motorcycle? Because it was a real mo it was our friend's motorbike. We're like, oh, we're I thought like, it was like an MTV prop. No, no, we called it. We told them to be like, our friend's got a motorbike. Can we bring it down and put it in the bathroom? Like, it sounds awesome, yes. So they sent us a bill for $5,000, but we haven't paid it. Never going to pay it. You heard it, MTV. If you want to get your money, <laughs> come down to that Academy Records. Yeah, exactly. I'm holding take Damien a, take right a pound here. Of my flesh. <laughs> take a pound. They're like the Beatles, if the Beatles were any good, and from Toronto. The name of the band is up. They've been around since 2001, which is almost 20 years. Did you ever think you, get, you would have your band would ever be on Fox News Channel? I, I, if you would ask me last year, the last place I ever thought we would be, Fox News would probably be number one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lately, you've been on Red Eye on Fox News a whole lot, Damien. Tell me about that. The guy who hosts the show, Greg, um, is like a really nice guy who I happen to not agree with on a lot of political issues, but he's really into like indie punk alternative type music like he's like a huge fan of like the melvins and stuff and and he picked uh he picked our record as one of his rec favorite records of the year so i wrote him an email being like that's really weird and he uh wrote me back and was like would you like to come on and then he's like i've had you know and they listed off andrew k buzz from melvins um the world's not a right place. <laughs> it's true. You know? It's true. But I think people are assuming I'm making money off of it. I haven't seen a check once, and I, no money's ever been discussed. So. I think you should make all your shows free now because of all yeah, the exactly. money you're making off of. Uh, you and, you and members news. of your, of uh, you, you and some of the kids that are on our show in Hungary. Kids were heckling me like going Fox News, <laughs> Fox News. I was like, God, who would have thought that would be a heckle you could use against us? You sold out for no money. I you know. Idiot. <laughs> which does, I mean, which. Makes Makes me the worst seller of all time. What's your baby's name? Holden. Holden Ford, Abraham. Holden Ford Abraham. That's a good name. A very, very distinguished. Yeah. Exactly. Hopefully he's more distinguished Did than Did you bite I. your fingers? What happened there? No, uh, I broke my razor in my toiletry kit and I reached in to grab my toothbrush and actually sliced off like that much of my thumb. Like a huge chunk. So much so that I went to the doctor and they're like, well, there's not enough skin there to stitch. So I'm just bandaging it up. And I also did a cut here, too, at the same time. You should uh, tape up these two fingers as well. And, uh, <laughs> grab your crotch a lot during the exactly, show. Exactly, exactly. Oh, my God. So how old is your baby now? So it's going to be three, week, uh, three months this week. The best thing about it is, like, you know, it's like having a doll that you can dress up and make him wear all this stupid stuff that you would never wear. <laughs> So basically the point of having kids is to humiliate. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, do exactly what our parents did us and just ruin their lives. All this baby means now to me is 
said, I have proof that I've had sex. I got, I got a baby to prove it. Oh man, what the fuck should I, else should I be asking you about? Anything. <clears throat> Major Conflict. Better than Conflict and Final Conflict? <laughs> Major Conflict's amazing. New York City. Ex-urban waste. Better than conflict, but then you have to specify which conflict, because there's a conflict from Phoenix, Arizona, and there's a conflict from England. So the English one has an amazing, a couple of amazing songs. The Arizona one has one incredible LP the whole way through. Final conflict, there's also two of, there's one from California and there's one from Minnesota. I go California over Minnesota. Whoever said that punks don't have great imaginations. Yeah, I know, I know, exactly. Stiffs. The thing that always shocks me is when you see a band that has this name of another band. I'm like, don't these people have Google? Like, can't they just Google? Like, oh, <laughs> so, uh, name's taken. Are there any other fucked ups? No. There's a band called Holy Fuck from Canada that we always get mistaken for. But we don't sound anything like them. I think he was shocked that we didn't have any electronics, and I pointed out that we were fucked up, not holy fuck. He seemed really disappointed because holy fuck was playing down the street, I guess.